hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you the easiest way the fastest way and the simplest way to cut a perfect up shoulder sleeve so let us just go into the tutorial so to get a very perfect like you to make your off shoulder to get the feet to be very perfect you need the measurement of your overarm and mine here is 41 okay 41 is the measurement of my overarm you can see how i took the measurement now we need to do a little calculation here so the measurement of my overarm is 41 after joining my bustier you know join the zip allowance at the back you saw the dart and everything the width of my bustier line the bustier line is just where the off shoulder blouse started from you know from above your you know from above your bust around your chest region so the measurement of my bust line for the front part you know is 12 inches then for the back part is 12 inches as well so 12 plus 12 will give me 24 now the measurement of my overarm is 41 so 41 minus 24 it will give me 17 and you know that this 17 we are supposed to share it within both sleeves okay so 17 divided by 2 will give me 8.5 which means 8.5 will be the length of one sleeve and 8.5 will be the length of the other sleeve now sometimes when some people work with this measurement they find that it's a little too tight so you might want to have like, add like half an inch to this but me i work with this and the fit on my shoulder is always very perfect so if you work with this kind of measurement and you realize that um, the sleeve came out too tight maybe when you are cutting next time you just add one inch okay so this is just a way to go about getting you know the length of the sleeve the width of the sleeve you should work with that's when you want to cut your off shoulder sleeve this is what will help it you know sit well on your shoulder and it will be perfect okay so just um remember what i said the length of the bust here put the front and the back minus and you minus it from the length of the the width of your overarm okay then you divide by two so this is what we have here now to cut the off shoulder the off shoulder sleeve you have to get your fabric this is the fabric i'm working with and i'm going to fold it into two like this so 8.5 divided by 2 i have about 4.2 inches so i'm going to going to add like cutting allowance and i add like half an inch so i'm working about with about five inches i'm going to trim it down so the length of this sleeve now is five inches from the top i'm going to go ahead and mark 3.5 inches downwards and i'm going to do it across the entire length of the fabric okay I'm going to mark 3.5 inches downward so i'll get my working piece so the width of the fabric five inches i'm going to trim it down to what i need for my sleeve then the length is 3.5 inches so after marking 3.5 inches i'm going to use my ruler and connect my markings together now from the top i'm going to go down by half an inch okay from the top i'm going to go down by half an inch from the bottom i'm going to go up by half an inch okay i want to form a little slant because if you notice for your off shoulder sleeves they are not exactly straight you notice that there is this sort of smooth slant on the sleeve so that is what i'm trying to insert here so from the top i went down half by half an inch from the bottom i went up by half an inch okay then i'm just going to use my ruler and connect my markings as you can see to that point okay so just try and make it a little slanted try and insert it to the normal sleeve so you can make your sleeve um, length the length of your sleeve as you know as large as you want but me i work with around three inches to 3.5 inches so this is what we have here so after um, drawing the slanted lines on both sides i try to you know make it get into the sleeve then i've already cut the fourth part so after i say i've already cut i'm cutting the front part here so after marking you're just going to simply go through and cut cutting an off shoulder sleeve is very very simple and very very easy trust me 
it is very simple and very easy so i've cut the front part this is what we have here now there's something else we need to do because the shoulder is not straight that the armhole is not straight we need to insert a little armhole curve so i'm going to mark about three quarter of an inch there and i'm going to connect it to the down part with a slanted line okay but sometimes you notice that you sew your off shoulder and around the sleeve it's packing you know you know that it's like something this is supposed to take off an excess so that is the excess i'm taking out because you know around our armhole curve it's always you know curved so here we're going to make it slanted because it is an off shoulder sleeve so to cut the second piece what i'm going to do here you just lay it on another fabric still on a fold then you just trace it out just the normal way you know you cut your facing you just put it on another fabric and cut so that was what I did here. So now I have two sleeves because I have two hands. So I have two sleeves. This is the first sleeve. This is the second sleeve. The next thing we are going to do now is we are going to mark where the top of the sleeve is. Because by the time you're done sewing, trust me, it will confuse you. So I just like to notch where the front, the top part is. Okay, so which is what I did here. So this is a, this is the top part, but both sides of the sleeve. Now the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to cut the lining for the sleeve. So I've already cut the line. I just had scrap fabric, you know, lying around. So I'm just going to turn the fabric to the wrong wrong side, and I'm going to top stitch the down part and the, the top part and down part i'm not going to top stitch the sides okay so i took it back to my sewing machine and i top stitched and i just joined the lining to the to the i just joined the lining to the sleeve you know the top top part and the bottom part i didn't lock the sides because you need the sides to be open so you can Turn over the sleeve when you are done okay so that's what i did here for your off shoulder sleeve it is a must you line it to give it strength and also to you know cover it up because you don't want to be using bias or something it won't give it strength so you really need to use a lining when you are sewing your off shoulder sleeves so i did this for both the the, the two sides of the sleeve I just took my time to top stitch or join it rather anyone you like choose <laughs> so i'm taking my time to show you the whole process so you would understand because sometimes i notice that if i skip some people be like oh you didn't show this and i just thought oh you'll figure it out so i'm just showing you step by step how i'm doing everything so you'd understand so if you watch if you've watched up to this point you're watching up to this point you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not part of the family please hit the subscribe button okay so now we are done joining the lining to the sleeve what you're going to do next or what i did next is I just cut out the excess lining that i didn't need i didn't want it's not needed okay and i did this for both sides of the sleeve both the left hand side and the right hand side of the sleeve like the i think for me oh the this off shoulder sleeve is one of the easiest sleeves for me trust me it doesn't give me so much headache like headache like other sleeves and i was a little surprised when i um, i started getting request for the off shoulder sleeve i'm like wow so let me just share this easy way because i'm really enjoying the off shoulder side of life okay so after cutting out the excess um, lining this is what we have here you can see it is neat and you know smooth next thing i did was i turned the sleeve over i know you are going to be wondering now that is this how the sleeve is going to look no this is not how it's going to look just stay with me guys stay with me so i turned over one side i'm turning i'm turning over the second side i'm just going to bite my tongue in this voiceover but anyways let's continue now the next thing you are going to do is to top stitch all over the sleeve now you're going to top stitch all sides you're not going to leave any side open so you can see how i'm folding the lining in okay you can see how i'm pushing the lining in that is what you are going to do so i pushed the lining backwards because you want all lining to be back and i'm just going to top stitch all sides all sides of the sleeve i am going to top stitch every single thing okay 
so you can it's not like a one-way process you just have to sew as you are sewing you push the lining in and keep sewing okay so you sew you push the lining in you keep sewing you sew you push the lining and you top stitch you just continue like that when you get to the bottom you just top stitch all side top stitch the top side the bottom side the sides everything top stitchable guys top stitch everything lock everywhere now you want everything to be in place so you are going to top stitch everywhere okay so that was what i did here and by the time i got back to the, the sewing table you can see how smooth the lining the sleeve is i've not even ironed it here trust me i didn't iron the sleeve till i was done sewing as in joining into the bust here so you can see that curve okay that one will sit around the middle point of the sleeve you can see the markings i did with the blue chalk to know where the top part is but by the time i don't see a lot of times it confuses people so now to attach the sleeve to the bust i've already sewn like an off shoulder um, um blouse this is an off shoulder blouse already you are just going to pin the sleeve to the off shoulder blouse it's that simple and if you're wondering how to cut an off shoulder blouse i have two tutorials here on this channel on how to cut an off shoulder blouse link in the description box okay so i have two very very sweet tutorials i have one of a six pieces blouse i have another of i think a gown an off shoulder something so just check the link in the description box so i just secured the with the aid of my pin i just secured the sleeve to the blouse i did it for one side you can see how it looks and i'm going to go ahead to do it for the second side and you can see that the not the points we marked there to show where the top side is is what is really helping us to know that okay this is the top side of the sleeve and the other side is the bottom side because if you pin the bottom to the sleeve the bottom side to the as in that place that doesn't have the main part of the slant the sleeve is not going to come out perfect okay so i just secured the pin to both sides so after securing the pin you're just going to take it over to our same machine and join it at that point okay you're just going to, you're going to do this for both sides of the sleeve you're just going to sew it along that point it is this simple guys very very simple I know the, the blouse is not looking fine now but you know this is what it looks like so after securing a pin I just took it to my sewing machine and I joined it to the bustier to the blouse I did this for both sides of the of the sleeve for the left hand side and the right hand side of the sleeve you want to give it a back stitch make sure your back stitch game is make sure the back stitch game is high man so now the next thing i'm going to do is you're not going to leave your hem around your armhole you're not going to leave it naked like that so i'm just going to use my bias i'm going to use my bias to turn it over okay so you can see how um how i attach the bias to the sleeve it's very simple now you guys know this one i just attached bias to the sleeve that's because i want to turn over the raw edge of the armhole okay not to the sleeve to the armhole i'm attaching the bias to the armhole and also some parts of the sleeve you understand okay so when i got to the end you are going to fold a little piece of the bias like so over the sleeve okay so that by the time you turn it out you kind of have an enclosed pipe because you don't want any of the raw edges to show okay so now after attaching the bias like that to the armhole and some parts of the sleeve you are just going to turn it over like this pull it out okay you're going to pull it out and you are going to top stitch yeah you're going to top stitch it because you don't want it puffing out so i took it back to the sewing machine and i top stitched and after top stitching you just now you do needle work after top stitching you just use your needle and thread to hem the bias to the main fabric okay to the main blouse so after hemming and the both sides of the bias i didn't show it i did it off camera 
it is well relaxed now this is what the sleeve looks like the front part and the back part it is this simple guys and easy to cut and sew an off shoulder sleeve if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and come back for more videos i'll see you in my next bye